rolling. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mr. Buffett. Is everyone here? Sir, before we begin, may I say you look remarkably smart in that new suit. Uh, thank you, Connor, but I've had this suit for 20 years. That's Warren Buffett performing his voiceovers in an animated series to teach the basics of investing to kids. You're learning something every day. The question is whether you're learning the right things or the wrong things. And, and, and good investing habits should be learned early. Never one to shy away from a bit of fun, Mr. Buffett agreed to play himself in this series. Well, you know, the cool thing about Warren in real life is he's very accessible. He wants people to know how to invest. So we based the animated Warren Buffett on the real Warren Buffett. Is this the picture that you are working from? Yes, yes. That's the very first picture that he has sent us. So from this? To this, to this, to this. Yes. Wow. So what was going on in your head? What were you thinking? <laughs> uh, you know, when, when people say, you know, uh, you have to draw Warren Buffett, you know, it's it's a scary thought because he's a, he's a very well-known person. So it's, <laughs> You want to keep your job. <laughs> yes, I do want to keep my job. <laughs> so I notice his nose, and it's, everything's a it's, really good perspective. It's, it's a very good perspective. You don't want to offend the, the person that you're drawing. No, you don't. <laughs> And here are the millionaires in the story. Their parts are played by some very talented kids right from Omaha. Bottom line, should the Secret Millionaires Club get involved? There's Jones. Yes. Elena. No. Connor. Ah. Uh, and Radley. Connor. The basic idea behind the Secret Millionaires Club are these four kids belong to a community youth center, and they decide how to invest the club's money with help from Warren Buffett. So when a local business owner needs help, he ends up turning to the kids. And these kids are going to rescue a business that happens to be a candy factory from an evil developer named Mr. Shady. They have an obligation to make mm -hmm. sure that not only do they invest in a business mm -hmm. that's a good business you know, for the community, but that there's also a return on investment for the money. And while this story has that folksy Midwest feel, the production's straight out of Hollywood from one of the best in the business. We produce a lot of programs that have to do with education and information for kids. And there hasn't been anything out there that we saw in the video sector or on the on-air sector that dramatized stories where kids could learn lessons of financial literacy. We've had the good fortune to work with Warren on the annual cartoon for the shareholders meeting at Berkshire Hathaway. Look, Chloe, we're actually inside the annual shareholders cartoon right now. Look, Warren Buffett right over there, dressed as a hippie. Now, to be at this meeting for real, though, we'd have to own at least one share of Berkshire Hathaway stock. But I promise, we're going to try to make it in real life next year, OK? Uh, Pam, could we get back to the story? Yes, Jack. Back to Deke's other cartoon project now. What do you kids think about the candy business? Is it a good investment? I think it is. Everybody loves candy. Now we're getting somewhere. Not only do these kid characters learn what makes a good investment, they also get a good dose of Buffett-style values. Another grandmother. He recognizes relationships and, and humanness as being more important than an added decimal point in the bank account. A lot of his investing principles are informed by that. The three things that uh, we wanted to put throughout the series of the Secret Millionaires Club was the importance of savings versus borrowing money. Another thing that we wanted to do was stick with businesses that are understandable. And lastly, we wanted to teach how to think through the investment process. Bradley is very rational and he thinks of nothing but the facts. Connor's always afraid to lose money before he makes it. He's always looking at the downside. And then you have Elena, who is the eternal optimist, always looking at the bright points of every investment. And last we have Jones, who's the risk taker. He's always ready to take the plunge. It's a super high profile project for the creative team at Deke, all of whom struck me as incredibly dedicated. You're looking at this man, and, and you're feeling the pressure. Yes, yes. every single day. And Do you feel the pressure? <laughs> this is Warren Buffett. Maybe so. All the fun aside, I this production is now. serious work for everybody involved. But the payoff is sure to be huge for the kids who get to see this cartoon. Well, I really hope they get the idea that, that if they save money, 
uh, doesn't have to be a lot of money, but just the mm -hmm. habit of saving, that they will, things will be a lot easier for them in life if they're always just a little ahead of the game.